Hi, it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. Today I'd like to share a quick way to add dimension to your projects and paper smooches feather dies. Now I've used these awesome feather dies for this card, also using my new Chicken Ninny papers, which I absolutely love. And I thought that I would add just a bit more detail by fluffing my feather images. Now this technique is super quick and all you need are a pair of scissors. Here are the feather dies and they are absolutely fabulous by themselves. But to add a bit more detail, all we're going to do is cut some slits all the way around our feather. So we're technically making a fringe edge. Now this would actually be a great time to use the fringe scissors. <laughs> but because I still don't own them, <laughs> I'm just going to be cutting little slits using my cutter bee scissors. Now after you've done this all the way around the entire feather, you're going to get something like this. And all you want to do is run your finger on the edges. And this is going to fluff them up just a bit. Now that's easy. And it adds so much more detail and dimension to our feather. Now there's one other thing we can do. We can take a stylus pen and we can follow along the center of our feather and make this a deeper line and that will allow us to fold our feather in for more dimension. And then you can fluff your edges. You can even probably use your stylus if you'd like, but fluffing the feathers, super easy and I love it! <laughs> I hope that you will fluff your feathers for your next project. Fluffy feathers would look great on a card, layout, gift bag, and attach to tags. There are so many options for these fun feathers. Please leave a comment below with a link to one of your creations or link up to our Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. I'd love to check out your project. Thanks so much for watching.